Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. And this video is to bring you a closer look at the Pemco number NL 1678 BP weather stripping nail. This is a number number 16 by 7 8 nail. And obviously the 16 is um, a reference to the diameter and looking up a number 16 wire size that tells us that it is 0 0.0508 inch in diameter put the caliper on it it's brass plated so I can't say for sure how much that would affect it but the caliper says that this 16 nail is 0.063 0.063 okay then you've got a length they say that it's 7 8 and overall to the head itself which is not how you measure it but yeah you're you're at 7 8 it's point it's point eight eight three point eight eight three <laughs> point eight eight three overall Okay, 875 would be close to the undersized. So, giving you some very technical dimensions about the, the, the nail. Now, <coughs> forgive me, it is brass plated. So it's a steel hinge, pardon me, it's a steel base, brass plated. Um, a good idea, naturally, you know, brass nails are soft and only one out of 100,000 carpenters are gonna say, I gotta have that copper nail. So a lot of people will actually enjoy having a steel-based, albeit brass-plated nail, because it will allow you to get on it a little bit more, obviously, than brass will. And you generally don't need to pre-drill a hole for these, even though I would. I would drill through the material, and I would drill a very small hole down through it so I could set that real tight and not really have to fight the hammer or the tack hammer to get it in and down. So what are you going to use this on? Obviously, all the brass weather stripping from Pemco. They're V-cushion. Their spring bronze material would be excellent for J hooks as well. Um, if you were doing a, 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 a B61, would be a good J hook for an interlocking threshold, you'd use this. The downside is that it's sold in this quantity. So hopefully, you have a need for several lifetimes of brass nail, uh, brass plated nails, or you've got a job where you know you need over a thousand pieces. They say that there's about 1,210 pieces in a pound, and you can quickly calculate how many nails will do the job. The quantity of nails needed is obviously the center to center. I've had some manufacturers tell me one and a half inch center to center. I've had installers who make a living doing this say that's far too close. Three inch would be better or maybe four inch. So you need to determine that. Then at that point you're going to calculate uh, obviously the total length and inches you are doing. Let's say you're doing 10 windows and they are, um, well, yeah, I mean, Dorvin doesn't sell double hung wood window weather stripping, but let's stick with V cushion. Let's say that you're doing 10 3070 doors and you're going to have, uh, so you've got 17 feet, uh, 7 plus 7 and 3 is 17 feet. You're going to have 100 lineal feet. Uh, times 12, that's how many inches you've got. And then let's divide all of that by, let's just say three inch per center to center. That means you're gonna need 680 nails. Um, so keep that in mind. That's how I would arrive at plenty of nails or knowing that you've gotta go up to the next quantity of pounds. They're not that costly, but nonetheless, you might be uh, in a position where you've got some extra nails uh, on hand. Now, having said that, you could use these nails really with anyone's uh, material, uh, anyone's uh, weather stripping that you need a brass nail for, or you might be doing a project and you simply need brass plated nails. You might be building, might be doing crafts in the Girl Scouts or whatever it is. You know, here they are. Finally, there's a link below this video to the manufacturer's page where you can pull up not only all of the Pemco products that we sell, but a link to the manufacturer's website, as well as a link to the full product catalog. I like to pull that catalog up, and I've got it over on my right shoulder, and do a find function on the keyboard, and I will type in that NL1678 part number. 
Actually, I will type in NL1678 and not put the BP at the end. And, this, and this, the find function will allow me to get to the page where it's located. Don't search for the BP because you can get this in different material, uh, material bases like Z for zinc. The nice thing about that is you will get in the catalog, actually you can see part of it here, you'll get in the catalog where you can locate um, that material uh, and then also the associated products that would go with these nails. Okay. If you have any questions on the Pemco NL1678, a BP nail or any other Pemco product, please feel free to reach out to us. Thank you.